Her Majesty presents the Stacy Presentation with our good friends Michael Donnell and Manuel Riley in association with those fine folks at ScrewAttack.com. <laughs> Go get them, fellas. So I said to him, pants up, mister, I don't need to see that, and uh, moved him on his way. Word. Oh, hello there, and welcome to Safety First. I'm Michael Donnell. And I'm Manuel Ryland. And you've joined us in the middle of this gorgeous British day. As you can see, the sun's not out, the skies are grey, it must be summer. That's true. A day to be enjoyed by everybody. Now, we've heard our fans saying, I want to be 100% like you, 100% of the time. But that's not strictly true. We're contractually obliged to prove to you that we're only 99.9% perfect. That's true. Even we make mistakes. So, you best watch this episode we filmed pre Way, way back in, in the year 2004. 2004. Hello, you've joined us on the BBC. I'm Michael Donnell. And I'm Manuel Riley. And welcome to Safety First. Tonight, we'll be looking at ducks. Yes, ducks in outer space. From the di hey, there he is! He's not getting away this time. Spot on. That's far enough, chum. Okay, chum, give us the time travel hat and guys, nobody guys, gets hurt. Guys, I don't want any trouble. They cancelled the new Summer Max. I've got to go back in time and make sure it comes out. No, time's changed, but you can't change time! Whoa, 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 guys, guys, no trouble, no trouble. I just love Sam and Max. We all love Sam and Max, chum, but time travel's far too dangerous. Can't have you doing that. I'm afraid it's for your own good, friend. I'm making the arrest. Ugh, what a strange day. Wait, what are you doing with that hat? Well, the uh, bullet wound was only superficial. We should have given it to the police. Look, we need to dispose of it properly. Well, we can do it safely, I'm Give sure. Give it to me. Oh, all right. Uh... I just want to set it on fire and have done with it, but it won't burn. Yeah. Let me just, uh... Can I say something? What? That guy, he might have had a point. How? Well, remember what we felt like when Sam and Max was cancelled. Do not believe this is the right time for a point and click and have decided to cancel. Ah! <laughs> well, what's the matter, chum? I... Ah! I love Summer Max as much as the next person, but we can't go messing with time. What about Day of the Tentacle? We, we played it together. We laughed. I did love Day of the Tentacle and... I guess time travel worked out okay in that. You see, we, we should do this, but we need a plan if we're going to manipulate time. All right, let's think this out. It was simple. With first-person shooters now hugely popular, they had to be stopped in order to save our beloved genre. We knew exactly where to start. We decided to visit ID's headquarters in 1992, a full year before they were to release Doom. Our objective was simple. Make sure the game never got released. To do that, we intended to have a friendly chat with id co-creators John Carmack and John Romero. Here we are. Uh, oh, uh, chum your heads on for you know what? Yeah, head. Uh, well, this looks like the place. Let's get inside. Who'd have thought they'd have such meager staffing? Well, they were only an indie company back then. That's true. A little bit of advertising and some demons, we can make a fortune! But... Hey, who are those guys? Don't you dare make Doom! <laughs> we're from the year 2004. If you make Doom or any first-person shooters, we'll be back to kick your asses. <laughs> Again! Come on, Michael. Who were those guys? Well, get 
just want to look at it. It's fine. Hey, is that Monkey Island 37? Oh, I'll get some magazines. Quick. I need to see the reviews for this, Michael. That means there's 33 Monkey Island games we've never even heard of. Okay, I've got a magazine. It's fine. Uh, Let me look. Hey. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, here it is. They gave it an eight. That's pretty good. Turns out that with shooters not becoming popular, LucasArts couldn't keep up with the demand and auctioned off beloved franchises like Monkey Island to id Software, who were desperate to get in on the point-and-click bandwagon. But they had no idea how to make a point-and-click adventure game. Wait, no. That's not eight out of ten. That's... Eight percent. My God. What, what have, have we, we done? done? Well, clearly we're going to have to go back to Ed and change this. We've got to show them something so horrible that it makes them up their quality control. I've got it. How about Dai Katana? No, no, we... That won't exist anymore. We stopped them from making all shooters. Ha! <laughs> Jump. I happen to carry one in this Paradox proof box at all times. I always figured there'd be a use for Dai Katana one day. <laughs> Wait, is that a copy? You don't think I'd spend money on this, do you? Come on. Again! Come on, Michael. Who were those guys? You know, you know, maybe it's a bad idea to make Doom after all. But we've got so many good concepts! What was the theme? You again! You're about to make a horrible mistake. It's about time you learned from this. But you told us not to make any more shooters. No, 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 no. This is the worst game ever made in our reality. But it looks incredible! It might look incredible to your barbaric 1992 eyes, but trust us, garbage. You guys need to learn how to make good games, and for the love of God, Put all of your money into point-and-click adventure games. Let's go. Oh, one more thing. What money? What we were about to find, viewers may find disturbing. Those of a nervous disposition, look away now. Anyway, it appears that by making point-and-click the only genre of game, we have inadvertently made the world into a scum version of the Matrix. Oh, your head is on fire. Oh, you broke it. Well, I'm just glad I didn't break it. Damn, this is a point-and-click game. This will take some thinking about and lots of combining items. Let me go build an inventory. I have some steps. No, no, chum, I broke it. I'll fix it. Be right back. Guess who fixed the hat? What? But I just gathered an inventory! Did you miss the part where I mentioned that the hat was working again? But you have no idea how hard it was to get some of this No stuff. time, chum. We have to stop this mess. Ah, <sighs> okay. Id's point-and-click adventure Matrix was severely under-budgeted, so we decided to visit LucasArts in 1991, just after they would release Monkey Island 2. We were still bitter about the cancellation of the new Sam and Max, and decided that all that Lucas money could be better used by Id Software. Hey, you hear something? I heard something. Let's check it out. Why, who are you guys? Hey, where's security? Who let you go? Who's that You had a wonderful day, son. I love you. Safety squad, we're taking the car, sir. Wait, why are we stopping? Well, we can use a time hat. Oh, yeah, we didn't need this at all. Here we go, jump.
one more thing. What money? I know. If if we had any money, I'd research a graphics card that could play this. We'd we'd make millions overnight. We've brought you both two big bags full of money. That's right. Got no excuse now. Do it right this time. Let's get out of here, chum. You know what? I think I've got an idea. We were 101% sure we'd got it right this time, and left a 1% margin of error. But sometimes, even our maths can be wrong. Where are we? Well, they set up to take us back to the office, so... Wait a minute. This is our office. What the hell happened? I don't remember it being so... open. What's this? What the hell? Things had gone from bad to worse. In this reality, we were wanted criminals, and to make things worse... Someone was coming. Luckily, Manuel had a pen to make a crafty edit and make the wanted picture inaccurate. Nice tassels, James. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, lads. Gee, what's going on? Why are we wanted fugitives? And what happened to our office? Don't tell me you forgot about the bombing. After Romero came into a large sum of money, he released Daikatana back in 1992. After he researched a graphics card to play the game, technology took a huge leap forward. Then one thing led to another. Technology moved on. Romero worked his way up to president and declared war on Safety HQ. Surely you remember that we operate underground now. And what are you doing there? Romero will find you. Romero? Don't worry, lads. Tonight, we take on Romero. Viva la resistance and all that. I've equipped you with Safety 2.0. All you need to do to activate it is bellow safety, and the henshin process will take place. Anyway, go get Romero. As you know, the CAD just cancelled Grim Fandango 2. What was that about We're Grim taking Fandango that too? as a personal offence. What was all that about new suits? I'm not sure, but there's only one way we can find out. That's right, chum. Safety go, go, baby! Hello again, chaps. Right, these new suits are Safety 2.0. As you will remember from our briefing, they're equipped with Project Itchy Fingers. Simply point your hands and shoot. I've also transferred the Time Hat's abilities into the new suits. No more silly top hats. Just think of the time and location and give the victory sign to travel. Remember, you must stop Romero. Not just for us, not just for safety, but for Grim Fandango too. If you fail, we will be stuck in a world ruled by Romero, and with no new adventure games. A uh, world ruled by Romero? I'd rather kill myself. Wait, that's it! We kill ourselves! Have you gone stupid? No, 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 hear me out. We go back in time, and we kill ourselves in the past, before any of this starts. No, that would cause some sort of horrible paradox. Hello again, lads. I'm not intruding here, you just didn't hang up. Don't worry about paradoxes. Safety 2.0 incorporates a paradox absorption filter. If you kill your past selves, you'll simply take over where they left off. Wait, that, that doesn't sound feasible. Try not to think about it. Anyway, if you're going back to the past, this may be the last time we talk. At least, in this dimension. Godspeed, gents, and stay safe. Hmm, nifty. Okay, let's go stop ourselves. You ready? Let's go. Stop those young naive fools before they ruin everything for everyone. Young naive? They were us ten minutes ago. Yeah, well, times change. All right. How are we going to do this? Am I killing me or am I killing you? You know, I've always wondered what it'd be like to kill you. My thoughts exactly. Let's do this. On three. Two. One. Sorry, chums. You know, I can't believe that went down the way it did. You know what? I'm taking off this ridiculous helmet. Good idea, chum. <sighs> this isn't ours. This is a sign of how far wrong we went. You know, we should make a deal. An agreement. Never to do this again. Never mess with time. How about we only mess with time if it's really, really important? Like, it's 2010 and Duke Nukem Forever stills an ounce. 
That'll never happen. It'll be out this year. <laughs> what an uh, adventure we had today. What a day. Mm. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Time, Time for, for tea. tea. <laughs> 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 oh. Time for tea. Seriously, it is time for tea. Yes. All right, let's go. You know, I love these suits. We should use them to go back in time and get tea when it was cheaper. Oh, great idea. <laughs> How different we looked back then. Time travel is such a complicated mess. It's true. Turns out the guy who was time traveling actually went back to try and cherry pick members of various point and click adventure game development studios. That's right. That man was Dan Connors. He was telling people to call him in 2004 so they could join his new point and click adventure game studio, Telltale Games. Even we make mistakes. It's a good job that we stopped ourselves from stopping him. So there's a lesson to be learned throughout yeah. all of this, I feel. Maybe, maybe it's that if you love something hard enough, you should just let it go. Good night. No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. If Dan Connors had let it go, we wouldn't have Telltale Games, we wouldn't have the new Sam and Max, Monkey Island. All right, Island. all right, okay, fine. Maybe there's a different lesson. Maybe it's, if you live something hard enough, then you should just keep trying. Good night. No, no, no. If we kept trying, we would have made things worse and worse. Look what a mess we got ourselves into. All right, into. fine. Maybe there's just no lesson whatsoever. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. Good night.